so um, as I was saying before, I have had a lot of people tell me that they haven't used the plan as much as they wanted to for whatever their reasons. I know some people, if it's on your computer, then there's a barrier to seeing it and some people are printing it out. I, I personally think that's a really good idea. But um, one of the things I've been thinking about is goal setting. And especially as we get toward January, the beginning of the year, people get very energized for a little bit of time at least and um, start thinking about goals and setting goals. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I also find people setting unrealistic goals and then getting discouraged because they're not reaching them. And I've been reading a book and this book uh, I featured also in the December installment of the planner as the, the thing that's influencing me lately. And it's called A Guide to the Good Life by a professor named William B. Irvine. And he talks about stoicism, actually. It's kind of a modern day update of how to integrate stoic ideas into our lives. And one of the points he makes actually is that stoicism is not very stoic, which I think is true. Um, but I just love some of these ideas. And one of them has to do with goals that I'm trying to integrate as I teach and as I uh, work with people one-on-one -on -one and in the small coaching groups. And that is this, that there are things we can control, a few things we can control, and a lot of things we can't control. And so uh, he makes a distinction between internal goals and external goals. And external goals are related to the things that we either can't control at all or only partially control. And internal goals are things related to things that we can totally control. And so I'll give you an example, which is, and actually the example that he uses has to do with playing tennis that your external goal could be to win the tennis match, and that is something over which you don't have a lot of control, or your internal goal can be to prepare and practice the best you can, to play the best you can, and then let whatever happens happen. And if you do those things, if you work on the effort, your effort, then it's very likely that you're going to play really well and the byproduct will be achieving the external goal. But if your focus is on the external goal, which you can't completely control, then you may very easily be disappointed. But if your focus is on the internal goal, like for this session, for example, did I prepare as much as I possibly could? Am I presenting in the best way I possibly can? And if that's my goal, then I will have achieved my goal as opposed to did I get as many people to attend as possible, for example, all right? So I just think this is a really interesting idea, a total mind shift, but one I think can be very helpful. And uh, when I open it up to discussion in a little bit, if you wanna talk about that, or we can use some more examples if you like as it relates to marketing, because I do think this applies very well and easily to marketing your business then we can definitely do that. But let me just give you one actually while we're talking and while I'm thinking about it, which is that um, with the targeted outreach, for example. So targeted outreach, just to refresh people's memory, is when you do hyper-personalized, super-customized outreach to five or 10 or two prospects, who don't know you, but whom you think you would be an excellent fit, for whom you think you would be an excellent fit, and you need to introduce your services to them and get a little bit of their mental real estate. And you have no idea whether or not they need you, uh, and you can't control whether or not they respond to you, but if your focus is on doing that once a day, or one person a day, or five people a week, and you don't focus on the response, you just do your effort and then move on to the next thing, then it's much more likely that you will achieve your goal as opposed to, 
I have to get five clients or I need to get $10,000 or I need to whatever the external thing is. So that's the main idea.